Hey guys, welcome to Proud and Matter. In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I created this burger animation project from beginning to the end. I started with the burger illustration with basic shapes and white fill and black strokes. At this stage, I'm avoiding the color selection process so that I can mainly focus on the overall structure. So once I'm happy with the overall structure, I started adding colors. For the color selection, I generally refer to Adobe Color and Pinterest. Then I moved on with the next frame illustration. I have reused few elements from one of my previous projects and modified the shapes. I also did some experiment with the color and the overall background setup. And here are the final illustrations that I would need for this explainer scene animation. Once the illustration is completed, I started separating the layers for each of the elements to prepare the illustration file for animation in After Effects. In After Effects, I have started with the mobile tap animation. In this scene, I have added basic position and rotation keyframes to bring it into the scene. To add a little flex on the tapping finger, I have used the pin tool and converted it into bone layers with the help of Dwig plugin. And then animated the bone layers rotation property. I then offset the keyframes to add some follow through. Then I moved on with the burger formation animation. So here I have animated each of the layers of the burger in Y axis only. Initially, I separated the position property in X and Y axis dimensions and adjusted the motion graph so that the more it gets closer to the ground, it accelerates. I have also added some flex in some of the elements of the burger. And for that, I again used pin tool and then converted the pins into bone layers with Twig plugin. Then I offset the keyframes to add some follow through. For the lips falling animation, I also did the same. To add some follow through in the lips, I again used pen tool and converted it into bone layers. For the ketchup pouring from the top, I added a stroke and adjusted the tapered value of the stroke under the shape property. And then at the bottom, I used a few elliptical shapes. To add some liquid effect, I used an effect called roughen edges and animated the evolution property under roughen edges. To blend the borders of the shape, I used Caution Blur and then added Matte Joker. Then I moved on with the hands animation. For the hand animation, I have parented the hand with Forum and then brought the hands into the scene with Rotation and Position keyframes. In the hand, I distorted the finger layer with Pen Tool and then converted the pins into bone layers and rigged it with the Twig Structures and Auto Rig. I have also added some squeezing on the burger while holding the burger. While the character is holding the burger, some ketchup is dripping from inside. For that, I have added an ellipse shape and scaled it up. To add liquid effect on the shape, I used roughen edges and animated the evolution property under the roughen edges. After the burger formation, I bought the cold rings and the chicken bucket in the scene. When it stops, I add some follow through with the corner rotation. For that, I used a null layer and put the anchor point at one of the corners from where I am going to rotate. And to rotate it from another corner, I just used another null layer and placed it on another corner and rotate this null. In the scene, I added a match cut when the character is putting up the burger to it. To match the momentum, I added the cut in between the action. To implement the match cut properly, the momentum from the first scene to the next scene should be similar. In the next scene, I started with the hands animation. Initially, I tried to animate the hand by rigging it with twig structures, but I wasn't satisfied with the result. The animation wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be. So I changed the plan and tried to animate it manually. First, I parented the hand with the burger and the forum with the hand. And then I animated the burger in Y axis. After that, I adjusted the rotation, position and the path property under the shape property of the forum layer and the arm as needed. 
and then added few in between frames to make the animation look even smoother. And here is how it looks. While the character is putting up the burger to take a bite and chewing, I have rotated the head in fake 3D. To add a fake 3D effect on head, I simply added keyframes on position property of each of the facial elements and the other elements linked with the head. Generally, when a character is looking down, the facial elements will go down and the elements on the back side of the head will go up. And when the character is looking up, the facial elements will move up and the elements on the back side of the head will go down. So I have applied the same concept over here. I animated all the elements in Y axis of the position in a similar manner since there isn't any sideways movement of the head here. I also distorted the beard with the help of pin tool again. To animate the mouth, I also added a stroke shape for the lips and pre-combed the elements inside the mouth and used alpha track mat. So for the lips movement, I have animated the path property for the lips under the shape property and then animated the position property of the upper teeth, lower teeth and the tongue as per the requirement. After a bite, I added some particles. For that, I added some circular shapes and animated the position and adjusted the motion path. And also animated the scale property. Then duplicated the shape multiple times and varied the motion path. And here is how it looks. So these are the steps that I followed throughout the project and here is how it finally turned out. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your project. So if you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.